New video shows what led up to a Bernalillo County deputy shooting and killing a suspect last month. This is the first deputy involved shooting that has taken place since deputies started wearing body cameras. Here's News 13's Brittany Bade. Kim, two Bernalillo County deputies were chasing the suspect on foot when the shootout happened. Even though they were wearing body cameras, the clearest perspective of the shooting came from perfectly placed backyard surveillance cameras. Right here, as the suspect goes to the ground, what you see is what appears to be a muzzle flash as the suspect falls, and the muzzle flash backwards in the direction of the deputies that are giving the foot chase. Next, you see the reaction from the deputies who exchange gunfire with the suspect. Then you see very plainly a second muzzle flash directly towards the deputies. On the night of this shooting, which was just before midnight on January 31st, Sheriff Maddie Gonzalez said at least one deputy fired one shot, killing the suspect. This video makes it clear both deputies fired multiple rounds, but the sheriff did not know exactly how many. Today, we also learned more about what led up to this shooting. A woman called 911 to report a man who got into a fight with her boyfriend. That man, now identified as 41 year old Ezekiel Mesa, pulled a gun on her friends and then fired two shots at her home. Deputies happened to be nearby and heard those shots. Once they got to the scene, Mesa ran from them, hopping into a backyard, which is where this video was recorded. While there are multiple forms of video evidence in this case, Sheriff Gonzalez says he is still embracing the body cameras. I think there's a lot of value, so uh, I'm not opposed to that. And I'm, I'm uh, embracing the technology, and we're just seeing how much further it can take us. But again, I don't think it was a magic potion everybody thought it could be in these investigations, but it is another piece in the puzzle. Deputies say one of the shots Mesa fired landed in the wall of the home, but no one else was hurt. Mesa has a long criminal history dating back to 95 with charges for aggravated battery on a household member and drug trafficking. Kim? Okay, thanks, Brittany. Now, both deputies involved in this shooting are on administrative leave and have only been with BCSO for about a year.